Hi everyone, welcome back to One Step Adventures. I'm Steve. Easter, I'm at Disneyland today, and I think today I want to check out what happened at Disney on the Easter day. And this is my first time here during the Easter. Okay, guys, so it is about nine o'clock in the morning at Disneyland on Sunday Easter, and it's a lot of people, but it's not a lot. You know what I mean? So I'm at the I'm by the Jolly Holiday right now. Just finished my coffee, and what kind of one? Want to walk around to see what happened here at Disney on the Easter day? Let's go! Oh, the horse carriage! You know, guys, do not sit the second row because you're gonna smell the horses. They kind of stink. It feels magical, but it's not. It's that like the whole thing smells. So, ah, oh, such a beautiful day today. Look at this. People are coming in slowly. I guess let's go through the castle first. See what's happening now. We want to just walk around the park today. To show you guys a magical day at Disneyland. Well, there's a lot of people at Tomorrowland. You can see that. So, questions: When you come to Disneyland, which land do you go first? Ma uh, Fantasy Land, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, Frontierland. For me, always fantasy land. It's a magical, you're here at Disney, so. Look at the people lined up for the photo up. I would say Sleeping Beauty Castle is the number one photo op for Disneyland. Little tip right here, the best place to take pictures right there by the bench area because you don't really get people behind you. Everywhere else, you're gonna get people. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for caring and being considered. My video just stops abruptly because Wow. I think the most beautiful thing is walking through the castle. And you hear the magical music here. Then here you are. Peter Pan is always so many people here. I love Peter Pan. I just don't understand why it's so many people here all the time. The way is usually is about 50 to 60 minutes. Oh, Snow White today is not bad. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go to Snow White right right now because it doesn't look bad at all. Let's do, and then check up there. Evil Queen usually will open right there. She just opened it. Say hi. Okay, let's do a Snow White first. And we're gonna come back out later to walk around. I'm surprised the line is not bad. Oh, little Snow White is okay. So it's a walk on for the carousel. Unbelievable. I can't believe this. Usually, it takes forever. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. Yay, we're on the carousel. This is amazing. Usually, there's a long line for this. 
and today is walk on, so that's really cool. Yay! Like, that's really nice. Get on the king carousel for five minutes. Wait, pretty much walk on. So let's take a look. Still blown away. Not that many people here. Well, there's a lot of people, but you know what I mean. So it's pretty nice here. Whoa, I smell some block. I hate that. Oh my God, this smells really strong. Now, who wears some block that much? Okay, so we're here. Uh, Matterhorn's right there. Yeah, we can do single rider. That's another way you can get on a ride really fast here. But we're just gonna walk around today and we're gonna see any ride we can walk on. That's our goal. Yay, we'll find another ride. Canal boat, five minute walk on. Almost there. Five minutes. All right, I'm pretty impressed. I was able to get on three rides. Each ride is about five to seven minutes wait. That's amazing on Easter day. Okay, let's continue going. See, can we find some ride to get on faster? I hope you enjoyed this video so far. All right, so we enter the edge of the galaxy now. Stormtrooper, what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, we should get out of here just in case we will get arrested. I always love this part of the Disneyland. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. I mean, I like it, but it's not like a die-hard fan. But I just love this whole immersion line here. You literally feel like you are part of a movie here. This is so amazing. People are waiting in the line for going to the Oga Container. I've been there for three, four times. It is expensive, but I think if it's the first time here, you should try to get in there, especially if you're big on Star Wars. <gasps> Millennial Falcon. You know, I have to say, at night, it's actually more beautiful than daytime. I mean, all the light, uh, it just feels better, I think, at nighttime. Millennium Falcon is 35 minutes away. That's not bad at all. Take it off. Take a look. Whoa. Oh, let's get some breakfast at the Red Rose Tavern. And they have a beast breakfast burger. That looks nice. Vegetable quinoa. Or American breakfast. And of course, the Mickey shaped pancake. I think I want to get that. So let's go. Let's go get some breakfast. Okay, so if you guys want to really breakfast, like a real Mickey shape. Okay guys, look at this. It's really beat up. Look at how small is here. How big is that? Would you call that Mickey Mouse? or something else yeah you know every time i come to red tavern for meal if they have anything special they always look kind of beat up here so i will say this is the worst restaurant for um special design meal it's really sad i mean look at this you spend nine dollar get the off mickey this is by far the worst but i'm sure it tastes nice but it's just really bad i think Okay, so despite how bad this uh, pancake look, and we're gonna see how this tastes, okay? But first, let's do some bloomery. Everything is about bloomery here. Oh, please, let's do this real quick. And I'll show you guys what I did here. I think it's really pretty. I always love to do that. So go to story, turn to bloomery. And then, so we're gonna pour this on the Mickey here. Yes, it is all about bloomery here. 
It's pretty dense. What the hell? It is very dry. Yeah, last time, I mean, couple of times I was here ordering special, you know, the special holiday food here. I mean, just not that good. I mean, the presentation, it just, you know, can be better. You're gonna need a lot of syrup to make this pancake moist. Let's try the sausage, see how this tastes. Sausage is better. You literally need to drench the whole pancake in the syrup. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this, I mean it tastes okay. Um, but just not very pretty. So if you want Instagram, Instagramable, Instagramable breakfast, this is the wrong place. All right, it's about 10, uh, 30 right now. Look at the line for the carousel. I'm so glad I'm here early. So it looks to me if you can come here at a road drop or earlier time before 10, you can get on the ride faster. Look at the Snow White right now. That is about 40 minutes away because it's all the way outside. So, okay, let's, let's go see what else is going on here. This is amazing. I hope you're having fun with me today at Disneyland. Hi, I'm Steve Jan, founder of Ibu Beauty, and these are my sister. We've been together through thick and thin. Nothing comes between us in our family. Just like our bond, the two new releases of the Mooncast collection, our Hero Serum and Hero Moisturizer, are the super duo. Nothing will come between your skin and the Ibu superpowers. 